Okay, in this problem, we're going to apply the formula that is on your formula sheet, that F is I L cross B, or the formula that I call Bill. So we have a current that is passing into a region where there's a magnetic field, turning a corner, carrying on in that region, um, having turned a second corner. And we're looking for the, the net force. So we do I cross B or L cross B for each segment. Let's do this bottom segment. So I is to the right, B is in, therefore the force on this little horizontal piece is up. We call it F1. If we do the same thing for this top horizontal piece, the force F2 is also up. And then doing this vertical piece of wire, uh, we find that the force is left. I'll call that one F3. Oops, F3. Okay, so we're trying to find the vector sum of F1, F2, and F3. Both F1 and F2 being in the same direction, we can simply add them together. Um, F1 plus F2. And that's as though we just have a horizontal piece of wire of length 0.6 meters in that field. So current is 4.5 amperes. The length essentially is 0.6 meters. And the field is 0.24 tesla. And everything's perpendicular, so the cross product just drops out. And the answer to that is 0 0.648 newtons to the right. Oh, sorry, up. Where is that? Okay, up. Okay, the one to the left, F3, is equal to the same current, 4.5 amperes. The length of wire is 0.3 meters, and the field is the same, 0.24 tesla. And that comes out to 0.324 newtons left. So we're essentially adding two forces, one up, one left. So the one up is 0.648, and the one left is 0.324. And so the net force points up like this. So this would be F net. And I'm going to call this angle theta. And that theta would be the arctan of 0.648 over 0.324. And that angle comes out to be 63.4 degrees. And so that is our net force. Oh, we have to find the magnitude of the net force. So that's our direction. F net magnitude would be the root of 0.648 squared plus 0.324 squared, which comes out to 0 0.724 newtons. So our force is 0.724 newtons at 63 degrees above the negative x axis.